What's up you guys, Namacon here, bringing you my perspective of what entertainment is bringing us and today I'll be talking about Jojo's Bizarre Adventure Stardust Crusaders. Originally a manga series made by the legendary Hirohiko Araki and then two decades later was made into an anime adaptation made by David Production. With 48 episodes, is currently the longest Jojo arc as of this point. And it's still the most popular Jojo arc. The reason why I say that is because before the anime came out, there was an OEA specifically for this arc, and there was a fighting game developed by Capcom. Both of those had a Western release. So, so before the, the Jojo series had an anime, uh, there was it had a niche it had a niche audience with the game and the OVA. Sardis Crusaders begins with Jotaro Kujo, the main character of this arc, who was sent in a who was sent in a detention center for beating up people. The guard requests requests him to get out, but he refused since he has an evil spirit and has said it is really dangerous. The evil spirit he ha he has is called a stand. A stand is a manifestation of someone's fighting spirit, as told by Joseph Joestar, who is Jotaro's grandfather and the previous main hero in Battle Tendency. They go on a trip around the world to Egypt to de defeat a villain who was who was who was thought to be defeated by Jonathan jo Joestar. Yes, it is Dio. Who they have to defeat as Jotaro's mother is consumed by her stand and would die in 50 days if Jotaro and the crew don't defeat Dio. This arc is awesome. I can finally see why people love the series. I was extremely hooked on the series on, on the first episode. Jotaro is a fucking badass. He outwits his opponents without any care. His stand, Star Platinum, is extremely powerful. With incredible strength, speed, and precision, Jotaro is a force to be reckoned with. Not to say the other characters are weak. No, they have great stands as well. Joseph has Hermit Purple, which are purple thorns, and, tho and those things can go through any electronic equipment such as cameras and TVs. He's, he still uses Hama, don't worry about that. We got several new characters in Stardust Crusaders who are also awesome, such as Mohammed Abdal, who is Joseph's ally. His stand is Magician's Red, a flaming falcon who can manipulate fire. Noriaki Kakyoin is another ally of Jotaro's, whose stand is Hierophant Green, who can blast green elements called Emerald Splash. John Pierre Polnareff, who's my favorite who is my favorite one of the bunch, is Stan's Stan's name is Silver Chariot. The Stan wields a sword and can cut down through anything. The action in the show is amazing. It's a massive improvement over the first two arcs. It shows that a uh, Araki's son finally got his groove on, and he got really creative. I think the reason why he decided to choose Stand instead of continuing with Haman was because people were comparing it with to Fist of the North Star, and Araki created Stands, and the, the way he uses Stands in Stardust Crusaders is, oof, the creativity on this is through the roof. There's so there's endless possibilities in how a stand could work. A mouse could be a mouse could be a stand. My phone could be a stand. This could be a stand. A remote could be a stand. It's it's pretty much endless at this point. Yeah, fr a fucking dog can be a stand. That's how a rock a rocket could be so creative. That's that's why I love I love this arc. This is such a massive improvement over Battle Tendency and, and the first arc. Also, the, the music is amazing. It is so good. 
the 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 intros are godlike. They are literally one of the best anime intros I've ever heard in my whole entire life. Now, let's talk. Now, there's one more thing I want to talk about. Dio is literally one of the greatest anime villains of all time. He is such a. In the first arc, he was a kind of a dickhead. He was a really big dickhead. But in this arc, the dude was kind of terrifying. He was a horse. He was completely terrifying. The dude was a fuck. The dude was fucking insane. He was literally his stand is called the world. The uh, this stand's special power can stop time. So yeah, Dio is literally, literally one of the one of my favorite villains of all time, in in like any form of entertainment media. He is so charismatic. I watched the show dub. Patrick Seats did a fantastic job as Dio. Matthew Mercer did a fantastic job as Jotaro. He was he did a great job. Richard Epcar did awesome as Joseph. Kyle Herbert did great as. Doria Kakyoin. The Derek Stephen Prince also did great with Iggy, who is another stand user. His stand is called the Fool. The and my 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 thoughts, final thoughts on this show. Jojo's Bizarre Adventure Sword's Crusader is awesome. I highly recommend you to watch it. Don't do not skip any do not skip the first two arcs. I mean, they may, they may be straight to all right to good, but do not skip those arcs. They are extremely important to Stardust Crusaders. Trust me on that. It'll, the payoff will be worth it. This, this arc is awesome. I cannot wait to see what, what other JoJo arcs has to offer. And anyways, what are your thoughts on JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Stardust Crusaders? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Let me know in the comments down below. Subscribe to my channel. Follow my Instagram, Twitter, and my dis and I have a Discord server down in the link below. This JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Stardust Crusaders gets an A. This is Namakon, and I'm signing out.